The restaurant that I'm checking out today originally started off as a chips and dips company, but now they've grown into a great spot for Mexican eats in the city. We're kicking things off with what the Mad Mexican restaurant is known for, and that is their chips and salsa. So I got a platter of chips and salsa with me today, and everything on that platter is homemade. So they have six different salsas, and everything ranges from mild to hot. So basically you can pick whatever damage you want to do to yourself. I chose mild today. And they also have two different types of guacamole that they make in-house. We got two different things off of their lunch menu. So the first one is a trio of tacos. And the base, the taco that they use is a blue corn tortilla. And they stuff it with different things. So one of them has sirloin steak and chorizo. Another has pork. And there's also a vegetarian option. And if you like cheese, you're gonna like this next one. It's a queso dish. This one happens to be my favorite one. So it's oven roasted cheese with some mushrooms inside, and then they serve it with their house-made flour tortillas. If you have lots of room in your tummy and you want something off of their dinner menu, you are going to love their chicken mole because it's half a chicken, friggin' half a chicken, it is a lot. And then they drown it in their mole sauce, which has 20 different ingredients. If you want to challenge yourself when you come here, try guessing the 20 different types of ingredients that they use in the mole sauce. I'll give you a little bit of a head start. It's a mixture of spices, chocolates, and nuts. So this section here is their market, and it's actually been inspired by the way the business was started, and that's because they originally started by selling their salsas and their chips at the St. Lawrence Market. And you can also find them at different farmers markets throughout the year. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm just gonna grab some of these for myself. Bam, bam. Bam, dinner. 